Hi everyone, I'm very good evening to all of you. So many students are actually worrying about the upcoming date of patent office examination. So actually we don't need to worry about this upcoming date because we have a solid proof with us and <clears throat> as early as possible we can expect this next upcoming patent office examination. Right? So because uh, announcements are coming from the uh, higher authorities that the government is going to take a decision on Jamali elections, right? So Jamali elections means one nation, one elections that the government is is just thinking that they have to uh, conduct this one nation, one election by the month of, by the end of the December, right? So if this uh, thing will really happen, then definitely all government examinations then definitely uh, should be conducted before December so that we can expect this patent office examination is also they are going to be go, going to be conducted on uh, on or before December, right? So, <clears throat> uh, so, uh, so this 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 proof is there uh, right now with us. So we can expect definitely that this examination is also going to be conducted by the uh, by the end of the December, December or before December, right? So second thing, <clears throat> if you observe the previous examination which was conducted on September 3rd preliminary patent office examination you people are also aware of this that the examination was completely illegal so at the examination centers in so many examination centers the air conditioners were not there properly and the examination was conducted completely in an inappropriate manner right so the air conditions conditioners were, were not there and also if you see even at some centers the ceiling fans were also not available so students uh, face a lot of problems uh, because of this because of this inappropriate uh, because of this inappropriate management and at some centers the faculties who are there at that examination center and who are taking the responsibility of the particular particular examination were given so rude answers to the students when the students asked the moment when the students asked them to provide rough sheets for the rough work the faculty members who are who were taking the responsibility of that particular exam at the examination centers were actually they have given so rude answers and they said that please don't disturb us if you want to do your rough work you can do your rough work on the back side of your admit card this is completely illegal and this is this answer which was given by the faculty members at that particular examination centers is completely irresponsible if any faculty member if anyone will give an answer like this in future also Please don't accept those kind of answers from them because you are not a kid, you are not a child. You are preparing for the government examination and you are doing hard work. You are going to write one officer examination. If you crack that examination, you are going to become a patent officer. So please, it is your right to have your rough sheet with you because it is completely mathematical paper if you observe. Reasoning, aptitude, everything is mathematical. If they don't provide rough sheet, how can you do your calculation? How can you do your calculation? In air you can do your calculation? No. So please argue with them. It is please, if they provide answers in an irresponsible way, please argue with them because it is your right to have your rough sheet. Right? So this is the first thing. Second thing, uh, last time examination was definitely we can say that was moderate to difficult examination if you compare with the previous examinations definitely that was moderate to difficult examination that was not an easy examination because the first thing was the paper was definitely lengthy paper and moreover the complicated questions came in the reasoning and aperture session so if you want to prepare for the next examination because time is now now you have uh, you have a lot of time actually you have much time now in your hands so that competition is also increasing so we can expect next 
exam, which is actually going to conduct this preliminary patent officer exam, uh, we can expect that question paper will be will be definitely be a little bit difficult, right? So definitely we can expect that little bit difficult paper is going to come. So please focus on your reasoning part, attitude part, and English part mainly, because from these three sections you can expect more number of questions, and moreover, and you have to enhance your level also. So you have to practice the questions from the reasoning and aptitude. You have to practice the gate and cat level questions. Gate level, cat level, and banking exam level questions you have to practice because competition is increasing. You have more time now, so we can expect a little more difficult paper. So you have to practice a lot, a lot, and a lot. Right. So please try to enhance. Try to enhance the level of your questions in your practice practice session. So whenever you practice uh, questions on reasoning and aptitude, please try to enhance the level and try to practice the questions which were actually asked in 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 previous year questions of uh, gate and bank exams. Right. So this is my suggestion to you. And uh, finally, I'm concluding concluding that. Examination is going to be conducted as soon as possible. We can expect before December, at the end of the November or mid of the December, we can expect this patent officer preliminary examination. Right. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.